Classic croup symptoms include hoarseness, a seal-like barking cough, and strider. Hoarseness is not essential, but it is commonly seen. In contrast, hoarseness does not typically occur with epiglottitis or foreign body aspiration. The strider is usually inspiratory, but it may also be expiratory if the lower airway becomes involved. Symptoms often worsen at night. Parents may report that during the day their child only had mild respiratory tract symptoms. And symptoms are also exacerbated by agitation, so special care should be taken to avoid disturbing the child. Children with mild croup do not have strider at rest. However, strider may be present while the child is crying. Loudness of strider is not a good indicator of severity, as worsening airway obstruction may cause the strider to become softer. When the typical signs and symptoms of croup are present, then there's really no need for an x-ray. And if there's any suspicion of epiglottitis or bacterial tracheitis, then x-rays are contraindicated. Now, if they are performed, then anterior-posterior radiographs may show the steeple sign, which is caused by superior tapering of the trachea. Unless there's a contraindication, pretty much all patients, regardless of severity, will receive a single dose of corticosteroids. Patients with moderate to severe respiratory distress will also receive nebulized epinephrine. However, it only provides temporary relief, so patients who are to be discharged should be first monitored for 3-4 to four hours. Do not place the child in a mist tent, because doing so can make the situation worse. Instead, the child should be allowed to stay with their caregivers in a comfortable position. If the child is to be discharged, patients should be warned that smoking on the child can worsen their cough.